Welcome Libra. Okay, so we're going to look at uh, what is going on for you and what guidance you might need over this time using divine directions and angels and ancestors oracle cards and the light seers tarot. Okay, so let's have a look here. Libra, three cards for Libra please. One card there. I'm going to turn it over. I didn't like the way it came out. It was protection, but we'll just see if it pops up again. If it's meant to come out, it will. Okay, so Libra. Got two cards here. Holiday and balance. One more card for Libra. Passion. Okay. Holiday. It's time to go on that holiday that you have been dreaming about. Live life. <laughs> okay. And balance. It's time to find balance in your life. What is most important to you? Interesting. You know, this could be what this holiday is about, right? Maybe, you know, refueling and all that jazz is what's important last card here is passion passion isn't confined to sexual energy life is meant to be felt don't hold back mm, i like that so what is it that you're passionate about what do you love doing libra you know these are the things that um that get us up in the morning right these are the things that keep us going not the things that we feel we have to do but the things we want to do, you know, so yeah, interesting, okay, you know, having balance, taking the holiday, doing the things that you love, these are all part and parcel of taking care of ourselves and living a life that is not just um, surrounded by work or, you know, taking care of the home or taking care of the family, whatever, you know, it is about you as well, Libra. So, you know, it's okay to stand up and say, I matter too. You know, what do I want and what is it that I need? Look, here's the talent coming out, Libra. Okay, so, whoops, the daisies. I just knocked everything over at the same time, but that's all right. Okay, we've had those cards. Okay, Stag. It's so funny how things happen, right? I'm just like, do you know what? It's just kind of coming to me, is that actually representative of how you feel? Like, are you feeling like if you do things out of the ordinary, everything could crumble? Or is it that you feel like maybe you could crumble? Hmm. Maybe, maybe. Okay, so we've got stag. Trust and thrive. Trust and thrive. I feel like part of this is bringing, th bringing these three things together so that you can thrive in your life. Okay, so that you, I'm wondering what the trust is about though. Is it about you not trusting yourself? Is it about you not trusting the process maybe? Why do you have to be reminded to trust and thrive? This is my question, Libra. Tell me more about Stag here, please. I feel like there's something so much deeper to all this. The Knight of Swords. Landed on my arm as well. Just, it's just becoming natural now. <laughs> and we've got the Seven of Wands. Oh, there's another card under here. Justice. Which is about the balance, right? This is about balance. Bringing things into balance. It's also about reflection. Maybe seeing the truth of something. We have the Knight of Swords here as well. The Knight of Swords can be... 
you know, he's running to this motorbike. He's seen, he's been on this path, right? Walking along, walking along. It looks like in sort of in the desert, in a sense, maybe. It, 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 to me, it seems like a long dirt road with nothing around. He's been walking for ages. And finally, he comes to another form of transport, which is going to get him to where he wants to go a lot quicker. So he goes racing towards it. But I feel like he's going to miss out on some stuff if he goes too fast, you know. I think it's really important to still you know, make sure you regulate your pace as you travel along the road, especially if you're going on holiday. If Actually, if you are going on holiday and you're driving anywhere, I would just say, take your time. Be mindful of your speed, okay? Um, don't go too fast because you're impatient to get somewhere. If you're getting held up in traffic or there's some delay, see what it is that is there to be enjoyed or learned or experienced okay um this is quite interesting because i haven't had this from this card before but i feel like this is a matter of um going in deep to see uh, the things that you don't want to look at about yourself um There are things there that can be discovered. There's this sense of denial. There's a sense of denial of kind of like not opening your eyes to a situation, I suppose. Um, yeah, because then we have the Seven of Wands. And look here, it's almost like... This person is sitting in meditation, ignoring all the things that need to be looked at here. Ignoring the internal battle that may go on within you. The other thing I'm getting from this card is that if there is any sort of like, especially legal battle, that is going on or some kind of legal issue that you're having in your life to not take on board other people's opinions and perspectives about it that um, it's up to you to use your own discernment um, in order for you to proceed how you need to proceed i feel like the knight of swords is saying make sure you don't rush in okay um but I also feel like this is about you needing to trust your intuition so that you can move forward with clarity and um, surety, okay? Next card for Libra, please. Next card for Libra got two cards here okay so the first card is water guardian connect with your emotions yeah yeah this is really cool because um i do feel like this is sort of in line with this card here because if you have a look here her eyes are open down here it's so funny because i always do see this card as her reflection in the water but the reflection is not the same as what is looking down. And um, she has her eyes closed. It's kind of like she doesn't want to see the reflection. It's like she wants to just like be like, no, no, everything's fine here. Look, look, I've got the two things and the two cups in balance. It's all okay. And this one is down here with her eyes open going, hello, <laughs> are you seeing what's going on down here? Are you seeing what's going on in here? you know so yeah this is really interesting and this is coming directly under balance right it's time to find a balance in your life what is most important to you so this could be balancing out these emotions even right yeah 
you know, and this is the thing. Sometimes we don't connect with our emotions because we don't want to cause a fuss or it's not the right time or it's just easier to push them away um, rather than deal with them. Yeah, and, and um, it's time for you to start... Letting yourself feel what it is you need to feel. Passion, right? Passion. Life is meant to be felt. Don't hold back, yeah? Okay, so two of swords. Yeah, see, this is the thing. This could, okay. So it could be that some of you have a decision to make and you're not sure which way to go. Okay, so this could be about you tapping in and feeling what it is, what, what feels better than the other choice, you know? One choice. What does that feel like? Imagine living that. What is it like to live that? How does it feel? Are you excited? Is it, does it feel like the right thing to do? And do the same with the other choice and feel that out. If one of them fills you with dread and you're like, oh, God, I just want to actually, like, you know, hide away with that. And the other one is a bit like, yeah, I think I could do that. Then you go with that one. You know, because you have to remember your intuition is also about warning you. You know, yes, sometimes we have to do the scary thing because it's what we need to do. But you know, you know, there's a difference between like, I really want to do this, but oh my God, I'm so scared. But you know, you know that it's it's like also something that's, you know, in your heart of hearts you want to do. As opposed to something that's like, <gasps> Oh my gosh, no, danger, 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 you know, and I think this is the thing, if we're not in touch with our emotions, we're not going to know the difference, and we're going to think that that um, internal signal is always danger, but it's not always, it's a natural anxious fear over um, doing something new, which ultimately is going to help us grow. You know, even expressing your emotions to other people. This is something which we, we don't do a lot of sometimes. You know, to really make ourselves vulnerable and kind of go, this really hurts, right? So, yeah. Um, the Empress, birthing something new. See, again, I'm seeing these emotions here. You know, actually allowing these to be flowing out Okay, the world as it turns around, um, the tides always are, are, are going in different directions in there. You know, this sort of, I feel like, is about you birthing something new. Um, no, that's not, yeah, that's what was trying to come out. It was so funny because I like had something else that I thought was going to come out and something else came out of my mouth and that's okay. Um there's some sort of path here that I'm noticing. Um, this could be the path that you're deciding on. And I feel as though whatever decision you do make here, Libra, it's, it's going to be okay. It's not, um, there's, there's not really the, a wrong decision here. Okay, we have the hunter. Ah, track down your fears and desires. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially this coming under passion here, right? Track down your desires and your fears. See, this is where this, um, when you're in touch with your emotions, it's going to be very clear what is what. Okay, you're going to know as you start to work with these emotions and become a lot clearer on what is going on inside of you, you're going to know what is fear and what is desire, okay, you're going to be able to hear the warning bells of danger, because this is the thing, right, especially say like with anxiety, is that, you know, it's like a smoke alarm. You, 
you can you can burn the toast and the smoke alarm will go off but there is no fire it's only smoke so the fire alarm goes off we clear out the smoke and everything is honky dory okay um and that's sort of what anxiety is like the alarm goes off and it's like oh my god there's fire there's fire but in fact it's just burnt toast okay so this is where i think you know and, and maybe this is where the holiday is needed you know you need to get away from all the pressures and all the um you know the stresses of life um so that you can really bring that balance in to get in touch with these emotions okay so we have the three of wands here with this hunter oh i like this because this is progressing from the two of wands here okay so this is you know making that decision and taking that first step in the direction that you want to go in and you do that you know once that decision is made you do that with, with that um confidence of i i know i know now I know what direction I'm heading in and, and I'm okay with that. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. And I always see this as someone, reminds me of Hansel and Gretel, <laughs> of leaving the trail behind to the, you know, so that they don't get lost in the forest. But also this to me is about this legacy that you're leaving in your life. You know, what, what legacy do you want to leave? When you, when you are going down this path here, Libra, what is it that you want to leave behind for everyone else to learn from or, um, you know, to learn to grow from? You know, what is it that you're growing? Um, because as you take each step, even though you're moving towards something and, yes, you are growing something for yourself, it's kind of like each step leaves an imprint in the earth, yeah? And so the imprint is also leaving an energy behind. So what is that energy that you are leaving behind here? This is something about conscious traveling, right? What are you leaving behind? It's not just always about having an experience or heading towards something new. It's about what am I stamping onto the path? Of which I have traveled. What is that energetic imprint that I am leaving behind? Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so we have winter. Take care of your needs. I like that. I like that. Um, this is a wolf here because I'm just thinking about a wolf in, in, you know, its natural habitat in the forest, in the woods, in the mountains, in winter, right? There's everything's covered in snow and they have to use this nat their natural ability for them to be able to find their way because then the next snowfall comes and the scent is buried beneath the snow so they have to use more than one sense in order to find their way and this is why I feel like this message is here for you to use all of your senses to find the way okay mm. You have your you have your intuition and you also have your instincts. Right? That's seven senses. Seven senses that you can draw on here. Yeah? We've got the Queen of Swords here. Look at her sitting in her power. Look at her. Look at her protecting her cup. You know? I feel like the Queen of Swords in this deck, I feel like the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Cups are very like, I would imagine them to be best mates. <laughs> um, and, um, you know, she's protecting this cup. But also, I feel like this Queen of Swords, she's protecting her heart. And she's sitting there in this, this power of who she is. Um, but I do have to say here, Libra, that her heart is guarded. 
And so I feel like there's a need to open your heart for some reason. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, anyhow, Eight of Pentacles is the other card we have here. Um, and I like this. <laughs> Look at her. Like, I don't know if you can see that, but she's looking at this candle so intently. And it's like, hmm, what are you going to tell me? Like, what have you got to show me? You know, and um, I, I suppose there's this sort of inquisitive energy about this Eight of Pentacles of what what is it? What What's over here? And what can I see over there? And what's over here? And, you know, this candle's nearly burned down. She could get, her hand could get burned, you know, and she's like, what are you here to teach me? You know, she's not worried. She's not in fear of what could go wrong or what, you know, what that um, could do to her. She's more interested in, you know, what are you about? And, you know, I love that. I love that. And it's all also um, like all these other items here. It's kind of like, to me, she takes that same approach about every single item with the same curiosity. And the same passion of tell me, you know, show me what you have to teach me, you know, um, because there is so much more to learn here. And she knows about the candle, you know, but she's interested to know more about the candle. And then there's another candle over here that she hasn't even begun to burn. And, and one could say, oh, well, I have already looked at the candle, so I know all about candles. But she knows better than that. She knows that there's something else to be learned. Okay, so yeah, I love that. I've never had that message from that card before. Okay, so still something about the Empress that keeps jumping out at me here, and I'm not too sure why, but there's something about, I feel like there's something about the connection here, as above, so below. There's something about this. I'm not sure. Maybe it will come up. Maybe you already know. Maybe I don't need to figure it out. Maybe you do. Who knows? <laughs> Let's have a look, though. We have the moon. Interesting. Look at this. The moon. Okay, so take note of intuitive messages. Yes. To, and this is where this, you know, um, getting to know your emotions really, really well. So you know what's intuitive and what's just your mind going and um, what's the fire alarm, all that kind of thing, right? Really tapping in here, Libra, so that you're fully aware. Um, but interesting that I just picked up the card and the moon jumped out of me, this connection with the moon and the earth as above, so below, and the moon comes out here. I wonder if this is all going to tie in. I can't guarantee that it will, but it does make me wonder. You know, and um, the moon can represent things that aren't seen, okay, which intuition is not seen, right? It's felt. It's not heard. It's felt. You know, we have instincts and intuition here, the six and the seven sense. Okay, so. No, too many cards. Moon. Tell me more about moon for Libra, please. I feel like this is something to do with cycles as well, some sort of cycle. I'll see here I go again. Look. <laughs> oh, Ten of Pentacles. Love this. Maybe it's a family a cycle in the family. Maybe it's the cycle of life. Oh, well, that's far too many cards. One more card for the moon for Libra. Please, I just want to see what this is about. Wow, okay. So we've had, yep, okay. Yeah, this is the cycle. This is an ending of a cycle, actually, because we've got the wheel jump out here 
and then we've got death and rebirth here this is the beginning of a new cycle something within the family okay so this could be then an ending of a, a cycle and i feel like this could potentially be an intergenerational cycle right um that could have gone on for many generations okay and i feel like this is what this empress is about it's sort of like it's been birthed in over and over and over again and no one can see it no one may even be aware of it but there's something about the cycle here and this could be libra about you maybe needing to look into the cycle in the family and see what it is um that is maybe I don't know, impacting you maybe, or there could be something reoccurring in your life and you're not sure why, it always happens, but it does, and this could be where the key is, this could be where the answers lay, okay, so let's have a look, let's get the last card out of the Angels and Ancestors Oracle deck, Libra please, one more card for Libra please. One more card for Libra. Here we go. Spirit Fox. Oh, I haven't had this one jump out before. Trust your talents in changing times. Trust your talents in changing times. There's something inside of you that... This is from actually ancient times because these symbols that I'm seeing here are like ancient sort of looking symbols to me. This is sort of, um, I feel like indigenous as well with the feathers here. But what I want to say about this, interesting, this is the second time the fox has come up here. Like, oh, this is more a wolf. This is a fox, so that's interesting. For some of you, there could be a um, native Indian um, connection. Um, something to do with the sun. We've got the moon here and the sun. And I feel like this is about the, um, it, as far as your talents go, this is about, there is, um, yeah, how do I describe this? I'm being shown it, but it's putting it into words. Okay, bear with me here, Libra. So it's kind of like you have the sun and the moon, right? And when the sun's out, it's always the sun. It's never like it's never like the moon, quarter moon, half moon, three quarter moon, full moon. The sun's always just the sun. But the thing is that the parts that we don't see of the moon, it doesn't mean they don't exist. So given that scenario, Libra, there's parts inside of you that although they haven't, aren't seen or potentially haven't been discovered does not mean that they don't exist. And these could be things that have lain dormant within you throughout this lifetime um, that has maybe been brought forward from other lifetimes that can be tapped into. Um, I would say to track down your fears and desires to start discovering what those are because some of them may be buried because you're afraid of bringing them through because you don't know about them yet. But in order to know about them, they have to be brought through. I feel like there's a bit of an opposite way of doing things here right okay and i feel like this is what this is about seeing things 
in a different light so that you can learn to discover them because I feel like you'll actually learn more about them that way than what you would say if you've picked up a book and learned about this particular thing you know and this could be I don't even know Libra it could be something about I don't even know could be could be something like drumming okay and you don't know how to play the drums it could be something about making something and you don't know how to make that particular thing. What needs to happen though is you need to tap inside rather than going and finding out how to play the drums or rather than going out and finding out how to make this particular thing from an external force, source, sorry, tap inside and let your internal force <laughs> lead the way. Wow, that just flung out here. Let the old ways of doing things fall away and introduce the new ways of doing things. And yeah, it's going to be scary. Yeah, but that's not, doesn't mean it's fire. The fire is not going. It's just the smoke alarm. Okay, it's not a real fire. Right, so one more card for Spirit Fox for Libra, please. To finish this off, one more card for Spirit Fox for Libra. Page of Wands. Yep, yeah, this is you learning. This is you learning to do. See, she doesn't have a book here to learn how to use the wand. She's trying it out herself. She's going, okay, so it flings up this way and it does this and it does that. She's actually doing um, her own learning through doing through taking action and you know sometimes she's going to drop the wand you know sometimes it's going to hit her on the head you know sometimes it's not going to work then you, she just tries another way and goes okay well that's cool maybe this is going to work this way okay so yeah um interesting reading here Libra very interesting journey that we've gone on here so yeah Libra please um share and subscribe and um let us know how this all pans out in your journey, you know. And, um, yeah, come back and have a look at this as you go along because this may, you know, start to unravel as, you know, the future, as you go down the road of the future. So, yeah. Okay, Libra, I will leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.